Good morning. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's Sunday yep. School Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yay, it's Sunday. We're so glad you're here today, mm -hmm. boys and girls. We've got a great lesson for you. Right, Mr. Ryan? Yep, we're going to learn about how the church started this week. Yes. How it all began. We have a memory verse over there. You want to read the memory verse, Tracy? And they continued um, I need, I steadfastly. steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayer. That's right. That's good. So before we start today, let's offer up a word of prayer to our Lord. So let's pray. Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for this beautiful, glorious day. And this chance to learn about you from your Bible. We thank you for your Bible and your word. And pray that you teach us the lessons that you want us to learn today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, what's going on this week, well, Miss Gail? Okay, well, we're going to learn about the early church. Okay. Now, the, in, the early church was one heart. That's something we're going to be talking about. Um... And, and that means that everybody, it says that, that even though everybody was different, the Lord made mm -hmm. all their hearts the same. Oh, okay. okay? So we're going to see later uh, about how, how we're all one body together in Christ. One, one body? All of us make one body? That's right. Yep. In, in God's church. It's only God can do that, make us all one. And remember last week we did the week of Pentecost when the tongues of fire came down and the Holy Spirit came. And the Holy Spirit filled all the guys. Remember they were talking in tongues and everybody was talking in Different their own language. languages they were yeah. speaking. And that was, you know, Jesus ascended to heaven. We covered the ascension. And because he went up, he's promised that he would send the Holy Spirit back. And that was the Holy Spirit coming back. So this is the whole beginning of the church. Yes. The church is going to start and it started with Pentecost. And now we're going to continue more on the story of how the church and the people come together and the things they did to start the church. And remember, the church, for you know, the church isn't this building. It's not the bricks, the roof, the doors, the building. The church is the people. The people make the church, not the building. So when you say you're going to church, you're going to be with other people. You're not going to a building church is not a building the church is the people and this this week is how the, the the church began and our saying this week tracy we are all members of the body of christ and we need to help one another that's right that's good helping is always good yep i like to help me too okay continuing on our scripture we're going to be in acts chapter 2 and starting at verse 42 it says and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and the fellowship and in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. So today, boys and girls, we're going to be focusing on these four things. In that scripture, it tells us what we're going to be learning about and what the disciples were guided by. Okay, so... What four uh, things? Well, what four things? Well, okay, well, Bible study, studying our Bible, which we're doing today. Okay. Okay, and then we also had um, taking communion. That was the breaking of the bread, right, with one another. And then it says that we're going to be uh, have a spending time with our other believers, right? Yep, we're spending time with each other. That's right. And, 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 pray. With, and with you, too. Yes. Yep, and with you. Yes, yep. and praying. Oh, okay. So those are the four things. We're going to be, we're going to have to remember those. That's how we're, that's what we're going to, that's going to be our guideline for our, our discipleship. So that's what the beginning of the church is. Right. That's how so, it starts. Okay. Yeah, continuing on in our scriptures, okay. verse 43. Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now, their fear was really reverence, reverence of mm -hmm. God. It was like, oh, you know, that feeling. And we continued on in verses 44 and 45. Now all who believed were together and had all things in common, all things in common alike. And so they and they sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all, as anyone had need. So they're sharing what they have, right? In the early church, they would sell other belongings and give them to the poor or help people who needed them. You know, the early, they were the they were the givers. There wasn't the welfare like we have today and 
and those kinds of programs available. So it was people giving to people, which is really, I think, the best. So yeah, people helping each other, that, that goes along with, with what Tracy said today. We are all members of the body of Christ and we need to help one another. Absolutely. It's, it's really important to help each other. And when one of our brothers or sisters, when they need help, we need to help them. We need to step up. Do you help your brothers and sisters, Tracy? No, um, um, well, sometimes. No. Yeah, I mean, when you see them have a need, we need to have a need, have a need. And we've been talking about up there, we are all members of the body of Christ. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, if you want to go there in your Bible or look there, if have your parents help you with it. But he talks about all of us being together as one body. All of us together make up the body of Christ. And we are all one body together with Christ. Yeah, so how do we understand that? Well, boys and girls, let's look at our bodies. If our foot hurts, it affects all the rest of our body because you can't walk and you, you, you aches and you can't walk and then that affects your leg and then that affects your hip. And so when one part of the body is weak, it affects the whole body, right? Well, if your foot doesn't work, you can't get anywhere. So the rest of the body is stuck in one place. Yeah, so you <laughs> I mean, every, every, every body part is important. You have to take care of it. So every member of the church is important to the body because if one part is missing, the body doesn't work. That's right. Continuing on in our verses 46 and 47, and if you have your Bibles, I hope you are reading along with us. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, we talked about that communion, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. Okay, simplicity of heart, that means they're, they're just focusing on one thing, and that's God's word. Praising mm -hmm. God, having, fa having favor with all the people. So that's their fellowship. And the Lord added to the church daily those who are being saved. So this tells us here they were having fellowship with other people and they were sharing God's word. So that is building the church. Just like when we talk to someone about God and we invite them to come in church, hear the words, that's what God wants us to do. Yeah. And the people in the early church, they did all of these things every single day. They had fellowship together. They came together and they fellowshiped. Fellowship means just spending time together. That's what fellowship means. They had meals together. They broke bread, which they broke bread and had communion together. They went to the temple together. They prayed together and their, their hearts were glad. They did everything together. They read the Bible, they prayed, they fellowshiped and they broke bread. The four things, yeah. all the things that, that they needed to do. and. Those are things that we need to do today. You know, we need to spend time with other believers and with other other people that believe like us. We we need to we need to read our Bible. We need to What else we need to do, Tracy? Um, we need to pray. Okay. Ah. Right. Do you We yeah, we should pray with our kids. And you kids, you guys, you should pray with your parents. Pray with your brothers and sisters. Tracy, do you pray with your parents? Um, yeah, I sometimes when I go to bed, they, I pray with them. Oh, good. But you could pray other times too, besides just when you go to bed. You know, it it it, it it's being together. So, so, fellowship. so, so Tracy, if you saw one of your friends crying, uh, what would you do? I'd want to know why. You'd want to know why. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I pray for them to get better. That's exactly mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do. Yeah, we look out for each other, like it, like it said. Continuing in the scriptures in Acts chapter 4, verse 32, it says, Now the multitude of those who believed, that means all the people who believed, were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things that he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. So they shared everything. You know, Tracy, why don't you continue on? Well, all the believers, they believed in peace because they all wanted to serve the Lord. That's right. Their, their love for God and the way they love the Lord, that, that's what brought them all together. And they, they all shared in God's love. That's right. That's right. We all share in God's love. We're all one body, like, like you've been saying. We are all members of the body of Christ, and we need to help one another. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And verse 33 the message continues, and with great power the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. 
they were doing God's work. And the church was growing because they were sharing God's work with them. So when that peace came upon them, or grace came upon them, God was satisfied. Yeah, and we need to do the same thing today. In continuing verses 34 to 37, I'm not going to read all the Bible verses, but what happened was everybody started, they brought all their possessions, they sold their possessions, and they gave the money to the church to help the people that needed to be helped. The people that were hungry, the people that were cold, didn't have a place to leave. They all, they didn't think that anything was all their own. Everything belonged to everybody. And that's kind of, there was this one guy, Barnabas, that sold all his land and all of his property, and he brought it and gave it to the apostles. You know, because he wanted to help. And all we're all one body. We're all together. So when one body, part of the body is hungry and cold, all of the body is hungry and cold. So, you know, they, just it's really important to note, they were not forced to do this. They were not forced to sell their possessions. They were not forced to hand them out. But they did it out of love for Jesus. Because we love God. That's right. That's right. And they were going to help one another. So, um... Like because, today, like well, like today. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things one of the things we're forced to do is pay taxes, right, Mr. Ryan? Mm -hmm. But these people were not forced to do that. They just automatically their hearts were set that okay, if I have lots of food, I'm sharing it with my neighbors. Right, all your extra. You know, we need to help those in need, and because we are all members of the body of Christ, and we need to help one another. So remember that we're all one body in Christ. All together, we're one thing. And remember, do you remember the four things, Tracy, that we that all the church did? The four things? Um, they, they, they fellowshiped and stayed together and did things together. Yes. Yep. And what else? Um, 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 oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. They read their Bible. They read, they read the Bible. Good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. And what um, else did they do? Um, well, I know one of them is they had communion. Oh, that's it. That's, that's right. Communion. They had communion they, together. They breaking ate bread. bread. Bro, bro. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And they prayed. They prayed. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They prayed with their parents and their brothers and sisters and with each other. I'm, that, I'm mm -hmm. so proud of you for remembering all of that because Thank that's you. what we need to live by, boys and girls. Those four things. And we have a lot of scriptures here, but those are the four things you need to remember out of these messages. And this is the beginning of the I church. I need to remember. And you this need is to remember. how the church started. Yes. So that's why we have church today, because they came together and they shared everything and they spent time together. And they were all one body. And speaking of one body, Ms. Gail. Yes. We have, as always, we have a craft for you. This is on the website. So have your parents print it out mm -hmm. for you or if you're able to do that. But it is looking at all the body. This is all the parts of our body. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually color this and highlight the things that you think are important. And then at the bottom it says, how does this picture relate to our Bible message today? Oh, we're all one body. We're all one all body. All different parts make up one body. Yeah, so you, that's all you have to put yep. in there. It's not complicated. Even though we're all different, we're all one body. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I know Tracy, you always yeah, do did. your work. You do I your did work. mine. You did? Mm -hmm. What did you do? Look at this. Look at that. Yep. Look at that, boys and girls. She is very happy about it. She said her body is working. Her body is working because all her parts are working, right? Well, we want the church to work, all the parts of the church to work, and our lives to work by following those four things that, that uh, God has asked us to do. And I really, well, I see your hair. You've never let your hair down before, Tracy, but no. I like that. Wow. And you're out running in the grass because your legs are working, your feet the are working. The grass feels good on my toes. Your heart's working, your hands are working. Yeah. Your eyes are working so you can see where you're going. So we got to remember we're all one body in Christ. Even though we're different, we're all together. We all have that common thing. And that's what the church is. All people coming together to be the church of Jesus Christ. And we follow Jesus. So that's our lesson for this week. I hope you have a good week. And you're blessed. And God bless you. God bless you. See you next week. Bye. We'll see you next week.